Do 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 Well, well, well. We meet again, mother Welcome back to the TJR Auto Channel. My name is Tyler. You don't know by now. You should you should probably just know. I, I gotta say this shit every time, right? Now, something you guys might notice. Hopefully the video quality is a little bit better. I'm trying something different out. And another thing is what's hiding in mi poqueta. I got a little microphone, so hopefully I can crack the code on making this thing work good so you guys get some good audio. Hopefully it kills a lot of the car, you know, cars driving by because when I'm editing the videos, I just want to like scream and delete everything because it sounds so, so horrible. So hopefully this works out. And if this doesn't sound good, then I'm going to move around on me. Hopefully by the end of this video, I can figure out a good place to keep the microphone. So can I get a like or a, a comment for that? I'm trying for you guys. Want some better better content, better quality content out here. Any whoosins. As you can tell by the thumbnail and the title of today's video, it's another GTO day. And you're actually resting on one of the uh, brake rotors and spacers on top of a race ramp under my LS1 as, we, as I speak to you. But obviously behind me is good old faithful Bonnie, right? My five-speed swap gray marquee. Now, I love Bonnie. I've been daily driving her. And since she's been getting daily driven, as we all know, daily drivers usually get neglected. So I want to kick my weekend off right. I want to clean Bonnie up, get her nice, squeaky, and clean like she deserves to be. There's one thing I want to take care of inside the car. So if we have time, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. So let's get some shit out of the way. Let's get the black front end under the yellow car and see what we're working with, see how far off we are, and figure out how the f we're going to splice this. F Kill me! <laughs> Alrighty, so... Me and Mike have devised a plan, and what we think we're going to do is we're going to try to work out the kink in this frame rail by undoing the spot welds along this pinch weld. We're going to try to work this out straight, right? So hopefully we can get this straight, and then we'll probably end up cutting this straighter and do a butt joint between this and the black frame. So you can see these little reference holes. Let's call them reference holes for now. These three or four, right? You can see that's right around here. So what we'll end up doing is obviously a bunch of measuring to get it exact when we do it, but we'll cut this straight here, cut this straight here. This will be a butt joint, but before we do the butt joint, we're going to take some extra metal that Mike brought me over. They are nail plates. They're beautiful. We're going to put one inside here. We'll drill out the yellow frame rail and we'll do some spot welds of our own here, right? And then we're going to have a piece sticking out and we're going to do the same on the other side because this also needs to be worked straight. So we're basically, we're going to, it's going to look like this, but it'll be straight. And we're going to have the two pieces of metal sticking out that are spot welded here and here. Should be pretty strong. And then again, we'll do a butt joint, frame rail to frame rail. But those nail plates are going to slip inside of the black frame rail. And those will be spot welded as well. So we're going to have basically an interlocking piece on each side, as well as the butt joint being welded all the way around. We both think that that will be strong enough. I don't see why it wouldn't be. And doing it this way, won't interfere with the subframe mounting underneath where if we overlap everything then it's going to offset where the bolt goes through and it might throw off the geometry that little bit that's going to not be good so that's what we're thinking so we're going to start working on that and then 
as you guys remember, there is a little bit of rust under the car. And uh, I think what we're going to do about that is this cool little idea I saw on Pinterest. And uh, I think, uh, let's see if we just, we just bend that in. Let's, let's do that. I think, uh, I think we're good there. So now that that's addressed, let's get to work. All right, so last time you guys saw this frame rail, and you probably, it might have been hard to see in the time lapse because it was a very quick moving time lapse. We got a lot of that kink worked out. The majority of it was right in this area. And Mike, if you come closer, you can see this whole area used to be kinked, I think, up or kinked down or some shit. This was all bad. Now we, we got it pretty good, right? It's a lot better than it was. These spot welds line back up out here. It's not perfect, but the PCM or the ECM, sits right here between these two bolts so you won't see any of this and as long as it's straight and it is the same dimensions as the black car that's all that really matters right so we're looking good there so we got this side worked out now mike worked out a little bit of this side we're going to try to get this corner up get this bit straight over here we're going to keep checking ourselves to make sure that the frame rails are where they're supposed to be or at least within reason um we're going to try to probably work out these kinks in the wheel tubs as well and then once everything's kind of in a straighter, better spot, we can start toying with cutting up the black frame, maybe leave ourselves like an inch of room to play with, and then uh, start trying to cut this, trim it, and get it to fit. So we're getting close. This is kind of scary. Um, yeah, because we, we kind of only have one shot at this, right? So I, uh, I don't know, but going to need a lot more beers. A lot more beers. Let's get it. All right, well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news. I hope this isn't too close, but uh, we kind of messed up a little bit, and it's because we jumped the gun, we rushed ourselves, so we're kind of in a shitty spot. Um, this is the kind of point where I wish I just bought like a clean roller and swapped everything because this is like one of those like, oh, great, I just pissed a lot more money away. But uh, anyways, I guess we'll show you the f that we might have made. Mike, you want to pant to the oopsie? Psych, it's almost done. So we actually are looking really, really, really good so far. And this is with our first basically rough cuts and everything kind of just roughed in. So already you guys can see some gaps. Obviously, it's not perfect. Again, this is more so just a test fit. And this because this has to come back off anyways to prep it. So what we're thinking is down here is the bottom of the frame rails are touching, right? And the top isn't. So there is going to be a little gap in here. Just, be, you know, if we were off by 16. But that isn't cut straight either, as you can see in the video. That ain't cut straight at all. Look it's like it's close. Cut that one, boy. It's almost like Mike drank six beers and then cut it. Any yeah, who's yeah, because yeah, I don't yeah, trust yeah. myself with the salsa. Sober me would do worse than count. yeah. Sober me would do worse than what Mike did. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, but again, as you guys can tell, we're looking really good. This is really awesome progress. Um, Look at I, that cut. I was boozing, <laughs> booze cruise. Look at that cut. Booze, booze cruise, baby. So. Our next game plan is we're going to pull the black front end back off. I'm going to prep all the surfaces, basically get them ready to be welded, right? And just to make sure that we're good, we are going to painstakingly roll this subframe out. We'll pull it out because it's not going to roll out nicely. Uh, we're going to pull this subframe out from under the deck. Uh, I almost called it a deck. Under the shelf. So we're going to get this thing under the car. We're going to attempt to bolt it into place as we also put the black front end on and make sure that the subframe lines up make sure everything looks good make sure all the spot because the spot welds themselves should also basically just about line up like the old holes to the existing ones so as you can tell they're they're pretty goddamn close like right there that's a good example yep so everything should line up roughly where it needs to be and obviously i know i might hear it maybe not depends on how many people see this video uh this isn't perfect this will never be perfect. The only way that this would be perfect is if I scrapped the car, took all the nice parts off of it and put it into a clean shell. That's that's the reality of it, you know, or if I did firewall forwards 
every single thing up here. But between having to basically body work the wheel tubs and make everything fit, this is kind of the best you're going to get for like bang for your buck accident restoration. And honestly, I think we're doing pretty good for like the budget that we're at. I bought the front clip for 500 bucks. It's not bad. I sold some of the parts back. I made probably half the money back on it. And I have more money worth of parts that just haven't sold yet. So technically, I could do this for free if I really wanted to. My biggest holdup with this car is the trans, as we all know, my favorite. But uh, again, we're looking really good. I'm super stoked. Shout out to my boy, Mike, for being just such a good, such a good friend. But yeah, as you guys can see, it's looking pretty goddamn good. So also, I know the lower uh, rad support is tweaked upwards. I think that's from when I took delivery of the front end. It fell off the trailer because me and the guy may have pulled it off the trailer by hand and it might have crashed down on there. But I'm not worried about that. Once everything's in place, I can jump on it, get it straight and we're good. But uh, yeah, so let's pull the black front end back off. I'll probably set you guys back up on a time lapse. And uh, yeah, let's get some fucking work done, boys. Well, 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 it is late at night. It has been a very long day. Me and Mike are both very exhausted, but guess what? You can, you can pan over to the car. We have, <laughs> we have a straight GTO with a subframe bolted into it. Now we only have, uh, four tack welds total holding the front end onto the yellow car. But we do have the struts bolted in completely, as well as all four subframe mounts completely bolted in. We also pulled the, the subframe as straight as possible. And the subframe is currently from this, the lower course or the lower rad support, to I believe this lip Mike was measuring from. We're within a 16th of an inch from this side to that side. Oh, one. That, that's pretty good stuff, you ask me. A sixth within a sixteenth of an inch. I'm pretty sure you can build a house like that, right? So if you can build a house like that, you can build a f car like that, right? Yeah, exactly. So, any Uh again, it's together. It's in. Um, I think we're gonna maybe weld a little bit on it tonight if Mike's up for it. And if not, I have no problem taking this on tomorrow. We're getting some more done, more of the tedious shit done tomorrow. Whatever works. This is by far the biggest part of the project is this what we did today so again sturdy as a mother again shout out to mike give me that, give me that camera oh i hope you're happy <laughs> i'm very happy how are you tired me, me too very tired <laughs> damn <laughs>
All I gotta say is I know how to use a f***ing all. That's all I gotta say. I made the f***ing cuts. The cuts. It wouldn't look like this if I didn't make the good cuts. Okay? I agree with Michael's statement. That's going to do it for today's episode. Uh, we got a lot of progress done. We got a lot of progress done. It's been a very long weekend. I'm exhausted. I know my buddy Mike is exhausted. As he, he made it very loud and clear that he was tired. Tired! Oh, that was pretty funny. Uh, just want to put it out there now. Still, still figuring out the microphone. Uh, I, I think somewhere down here is better for me to hold it and talk into because when it's up here it's a little bit louder and i feel like i have to talk lower i don't i don't know we're figuring it out so let me know what you guys think about the microphone i'm filming this in 4k 30 fps and i'm going to try to upload it to youtube in that and we're going to see if uh it doesn't post in 360p like some of my other videos have been doing but i might have a, a reach around for that as well so we'll see we'll see again i'm trying to put some like higher quality content out for you guys you know hopefully the i'm hoping the contents of the content is good but i also hope that the actual quality overall audio wise you know uh video wise and like editing wise i'm, I'm hoping you guys are enjoying it because I'm, I'm trying to i get a little better here and there you know what i'm saying so bear bear with me on that we're we're getting there but as always thank you guys so much for watching i love each and every one of you if you guys want to see the next upcoming content on the car, make sure to drop a sub. If you like the video, you know, could you spare me a like, please? Can a poor a poor O4 owner have a like? Not a lot to ask, of course. Thank you. And also, again, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this. And, if, you know, let me know. Just let me know what you guys are thinking. Let me know what you think of the project, how everything's going and all that jazz. Obviously, there's still some welding work to be done, and honestly, I think I'm just going to off-camera do the spot welds for the wheel tubs and stuff, because they're kind of in tricky areas to film, and I feel like it's not going to be that fun to watch, if that makes any sense. But majority of the welding is done. I uh, just have to drop the subframe, do the underside of the frame rails, and then the wheel tubs, and then everything's welded on. That's basically it. So, again, obviously, we look really good. I am beyond stoked to see this car straight just think i have never seen this car straight i've only ever seen this car damaged after its accident from the previous owner so it is pretty cool to i don't know it, it's a weird thing i've never bought or gotten a wrecked car and transformed it into its former straight beautiful self so this car it's gonna be good it's gonna be hot uh, I might have said it earlier. I don't really know. A couple things came in the mail, so we got a couple cool things coming up for this thing as well. Obviously, we have to do a lot, but there is some cool custom touches I'm adding to the car, which I'm very excited for, and I'm very excited to show you guys because uh, it's going to be some tutorials, but not really a tutorial. It's more so me teaching myself how to do stuff and you guys either roasting me in the comments or learning something or just following along. So again, we got some cool stuff coming up. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you're subscribed to be able to see all of this awesome content. I don't know if you can see the motor. Still haven't touched that as of now, but the supplies for the motor should be coming very soon, which I'm very excited for. But by the looks of it, I think we're going to be getting majority of the car or the body or the bay, whatever you want to call it. I think we're going to be getting most of this stuff wrapped up before we touch the motor. Um, yeah. So again, I, 
as I always say, or I've been saying, if you haven't watched the last couple episodes, make sure to go watch them to kind of get up to speed with where we're at and all the work it took to get to where we're at. And uh, again, make sure to subscribe to, uh, I kind of kissed the mic. Uh, make sure to subscribe to see the upcoming content for this queen because we got a lot coming. We've done a lot, but we got a lot coming. So once again, I can't tell you guys how much I hate that Verizon box. That is ridiculous. Honestly, I'm going to call Verizon and say this is the most inconvenient thing that I've ever witnessed in my life.